Okay, let us move to the next one that is question number 49. A straight line through a fixed point 2 comma 3 intersects the coordinate axis at distinct points P and Q. If O is the origin and the rectangle O P R Q is completed then find the locus of point R. So, let us start this question we can write it as considering the coordinate system first then draw a rectangle like this. Now, point O is given to me correct. Next what they have mentioned they have said it is intersecting at P and Q meaning that our line is like this which has intersected at two points P and Q. So, let us mention now P and Q the rectangle is completed we have to find the locus of this point H comma K this is clear ok. Starting it as let the line be x upon a plus y upon b equals 1. It is passing through the point 2 comma 3 meaning that 2 by a plus 3 by b equals 1. Let us consider equation number 1. Now, we are talking about a rectangle midpoint of O r and midpoint of Q p coincide. What we obtain as the midpoint of O r h by 2 k by 2 midpoint of p q a by 2 b by 2 clearly we have from midpoints we have h by 2 k by 2 equals a by 2 b by 2. So, we get a and b equals h and k respectively therefore, a equals h b equals k. Now, put this a and b as h k in the equation number 1 that is 2 by a plus 3 by b equals 1. Substituting here we get 2 by h plus 3 by k equals 1. Therefore, the locus of h k is locus of h comma k is simply 2 by x plus 3 by y equals 1. Take LCM simplify to get 3 x plus 2 y equals x y. So, the, this is the required locus of the point R 3 x plus 2 y equals x y a simple question, but little conceptual we need to understand the correct one considering 3 x plus 2 y let us check the options 3 x plus 2 y equals x y that is option 2 is the correct one right. So, let us mention it correct answer is option 2. Now, moving to the next question. Okay, now, turn to take question number 50. Let A be the sum of the first 20 terms and B be the first 40 terms sum for the given series 1 square plus twice of 2 square plus 3 square plus twice of 4 square and so on. Now, it is given B minus 2A equals 100 lambda. Find the value of lambda. So, starting it with finding the value of A it is given to me it is equal to 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to 20 terms plus 2 square plus 4 square and so on up to 20 square last term. Because A is for first 20 terms similarly we can find for B where instead of 20 we will be writing simply 40. Simplifying this is 20 into 21 into 41 divided by 6 plus 2 square can be taken common multiplied with 10 into 11 into 21 divided by 6. Now, simplifying this one we get equals 4410. 
Similarly, we can find B where it is for first 40 terms same formula that will give you 3 3 6 2 0. Now, in the question it is given as B minus 2 A equals 100 lambda substitute this B and A over here we get since B minus 2 A equals 100 lambda. So, substituting B and A here we get 3 3 6 2 0 minus 8 8 2 0 equals 100 lambda meaning that lambda simply comes as 248 correct. So, from the given options we can see here 248 that is option number 1 is correct mentioning the correct answer as option number 1. So, this is clear from sequence series move to the next question ok. Let us consider question number 51 if the curves y square equals 6 x and 9 x square plus b y square equals 16 intersect each other at right angles then we have to find the value of b. So, let us start this question. Two curves are intersecting orthogonally simple condition m 1 m 2 equals minus 1 m 1 m 2 equals minus 1. Now, the first curve y square equals 6 x we can find by differentiating 2 y dy by dx equals 6. Let us consider from here we get m 1 as 6 upon 2 y 1 or 3 upon y 1 considering that these two curves are intersecting at a point x 1 y 1. From the second curve we can find 18 x plus 2 b y d y by d x equals 0. So, from here we can see that m 2 let us consider the slope for the second one this comes out minus 18 x 1 by 2 b y 1 right. Now, m 1 m 2 obtained just multiply the two terms to get m 1 m 2 equals minus 1. Therefore, we have 3 upon y 1 multiplied with minus of 9 x 1 by b y 1 equals minus 1. This is 27 x 1 upon b y 1 square equals 1. Since x 1 y 1 lies on both curves from the curve 1 we can see that we can see that y 1 square equals 6 x 1 substituting this value we obtain 27 x 1 upon b into 6 x 1 equals 1 or b equals 9 by 2 right. So, we get the value for b as 9 by 2 and we see that 9 by 2 meaning option 3. Therefore, the correct answer is option 3. So, this question is clear moving to the next question.